Hey everybody, what's up? Willie P here and I'm back for another reaction. And today we're going to do a reaction of Nine Minutes of Karens versus The Judge. <sighs> I'm excited. I think it's going to be hilarious. Um, my last video, y'all loved it. I had my daughter with me. She's not here today. So hopefully we get enough likes, enough subscribes, and we can get her to come back and do another one. Um, if my words are somewhat off, I just had a root canal. So, yeah, uh, I'm recovering today. So, give me some likes for that one. Mm. All right, guys, and ladies, and just fucking everybody. Let's do this. Now, we all associate Karens with asking for the manager. But what happens when you place this peculiar species in a court of law? Sorry, Karen, you can't ask for the manager in here, bud. Here's 10 minutes of Karens attempting to make a scene in court, only to get destroyed themselves. No Karen is above the law. Watch as this judge puts her in her place. Ma'am, please raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to provide will be the truth, like call full call truth, call and call nothing call. but the truth under penalty of perjury? Like Ma'am, ma'am, stop. I know you want to control this room, but this isn't Burger King. When the sign changes to Burger King, you can have it your way. Right now is the -hoo -hoo! room. And you will answer my questions. Okay, okay. And stop. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under penalty of perjury? Yes or no? All right, I'll take that as silence. I understand her attorney is on here. Where is her attorney? You will not act disrespectful in this court. Do you understand, ma'am? You certainly may remain silent. Where is your attorney? Do we have an attorney? I'm on here. Sir? The next Karen literally attacks a judge. Who's stupid enough to defy this judge in their own court? She probably brushed the assault off as, I was just trying to shake her hand. Miss Hardwick, no. you will be held in contempt of this court if you I become don't, disruptive. I don't care. I haven't done anything to this court. I haven't done anything to okay. him. She'll be I'm arrested for contempt days for contempt of court. You go now. <laughs> Who is that dumb? Why would you attack a, a judge? Oh my goodness, and it's, oh, 10 days probably turned into like a year or two. <laughs> Dumb. This Karen falls down and slow. Enlisted is the free brand new online World War II shooter. Command a squad of soldiers and participate in legendary battles of emotion as she screams for help like a baby. Now that's some Amber Heard level acting there. Aww. I feel so attacked right now. I don't know what to do. Somebody oh. please send help. I'm just so attacked. Help. He's he, a gamble. He's oh, no. oh, oh, no. oh, oh, no. no. Order. 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 What? This can't be real. Please say it's like a Saturday Night Live skit. <laughs> you can't make this crap up. <laughs> Speaking of Amber Heard, this Karen should honestly be drafted into the NBA for her beautiful reaction. Quit Lower your voice, please. Quit and Control corrupt. yourself. Sitting just behind Vera DeWitt is Jen Schaefer, the city's public works commission chairwoman. That's all. Thank you. The next speaker is Marvin Clayton. Hey, oh, 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 stop that woman from leaving the room. Oh, you she get out of here with that crap. Karens really love testing their luck, and boy, did this one get lucky. She falsely files a sanction in court despite having no case and goes, I knew it was fixed while clearly being full of it. In pro per for my motion for sanctions against Mr. Nicoletti for this uh, vexatious and frivolous PPO. I'm sorry, on this what? I have a motion for sanctions against I know Mr. that. And the purpose of the sanctions are, are based on what? It was a frivolous and vexatious PPO based on nonsense. I am not stalking Mr. Nicoletti. I haven't signed a PPO. The, his petition for a PPO, I, okay, I'm, let me Okay, were you served? No, I wasn't, but may I? 
No, you may not. How can you ask to sanction someone when you haven't even been served? That's the point. He Ms. Stevens, do not, do not interrupt me when I'm <laughs> speaking, ma'am. <laughs> I have a constitutional right to be heard. No, you don't. On what basis? There is no case before me, ma'am, other than the fact that you filed this frivolous motion taking up this court's time for no good reason other than your own personal vendetta against this man for whatever reason you may have, and I really don't care because it does not involve me or my court. However, had I issued a PPO, you would have a basis to be before me. I did not issue a PPO. He did not pursue his right to a hearing on the PPO. You were never served, and here you are taking up my time so that you want me to chastise him and, quite, and make him pay money? No, ma'am. Your relief is denied, and in addition to that, I am sanctioning you with costs of $500 forthwith to the county clerk's office. <laughs> what? That's awesome. Oh my god, I love this. This is great. I knew it was fixed. I beg your pardon? I said I knew it was fixed. Miss Stevens, I highly suggest that you just exit my courtroom and go, go pay the sanctions before I find you in contempt. You thought the last one was lame? Watch this Karen go to extreme lengths to defend a theater shooter. Mental illness is everything. I'm the biological mother. She's a surrogate. They took it away from me. And they didn't talk to you because they know they have mental illness. Tell you, all of my family's full of FBI. It's just, it's so good. What? We need to go. The sanction that I'm going to impose is three weeks in the Arapahoe County Jail. Take her away, Sheriff. Thank you. Watch what happens when you try to act cute with the judge. This Karen certainly tries to be cheeky, but ends up saying adios to her freedom. Oh, Mr. Soto, you're being charged with possession of Sanax and B-A-R-S. I don't know what that is. What is bars. that? Xanax. Xanax bars. Oh. That's how they refer to it. Xanax bars. All right. She has no priors. She's being charged per pill, which is improper. It should just be one count. Mr. Soto, are you working? Yes. How much money are you making a week, approximately? Approximately about 200 bucks a week. Okay, and do you own any property of value? A house, a car, a bank account, significant amounts of jewelry? Yes. What do you own? <laughs> I own a lot of jewelry, all right, okay. as well as oh, go ahead. a car. Well, how, um, how, how, how much you, would you say your jewelry is worth? <laughs> it's not a joke, you know. We are not in, we are not in a club now. Okay, but it's you know. Hey, well, you see, you know, know, we are not in a, we are not in a club. Be serious about it. I'm serious about oh, it. You're being you very, I laugh. can see you're serious, all right. You just made me laugh. I apologize. It's all right. How much is your jewelry worth? It's worth a lot of money. Like what? Like Rick Ross. Huh? It's worth Ma money. Have you had any kind of drugs in the in the last 24 hours? Actually, no. Actually, no. Okay. What is the standard bond? Okay, five thousand on count one, and then the rest should be ROR. Bye bye. Adios. <laughs> Come back, ma'am. Come back. Oh. Come back. Give me the paper again. Count one would be 10,000. Are you serious? I am serious. Adios. <laughs> Come back again. Oh, she just flicked him off. Oh my God. Why would you do the person that controls your life? Oh. Come back again. Bring him back again. I believe I heard you saying to. Yes, I did. I'm not going to do it. I believe you. Did you say? Actually, I did. Did you say that? Yes, sir. I did. Oh, you did say that? I'm not I find you in direct criminal contempt. 30 days in the county jail. Drinking and driving. Dumb, 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 dumb. Good. These are nothing to laugh at. Oh. And neither will this Karen after hearing about her punishment. Who's laughing now, Karen? Ma'am, you are being taken into custody for criminal contempt. Your disruptive and disrespectful behavior disrupted today's proceedings, and you, ma'am, are going to the Wayne County Jail for 93 days for direct criminal contempt. 
As for Amanda's mother, Donna, she spends the night in jail and appears before Judge Lillard the next morning. Donna seems to have learned a serious lesson from just one night behind bars. Ms. Cousins, yes. is there something you'd like to say? Yes, I deeply apologize for what I did. I was under a lot of stress. Mm -mm. And I deeply apologize for what I did in your court. I just needed to get out. And it's been very hard for me <laughs> this year, and I know for the other family. And I'm so sorry for what I did. And I know it was wrong, and I apologize. Woo! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah. That was good. That was good. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow. Chill, you. It's getting all excited over here. Um, Tell me what you think. I enjoyed this one. This was fun. I think I'm going to do a lot more Karen-related stuff because why not? They're hilarious. Nobody gets hurt but Karen. And it, right now, nobody cares. So, uh, I enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, send me some likes. Hopefully, I get healing pretty good. Uh, the medication's starting to wear off now, so it's going to start hurting. Is what it is. Um, oh, yeah. Be, be good. Be blessed. Have a good day. Y'all be good. Later.